Hi guys, James here from Oz Powerbanks. Today we're doing a quick unboxing and having a look at another really, really cool product from Cheotech. It is one of their super high efficient solar panels. It's a 36 watt unit, which also has standard USB and it also has USB-C outputs. And we'll get straight into the unboxing of this unit, what you can and can't use it for, uh, and all the different specs and sizes. This is the box that the 36 watt Cheotech solar panel comes with. So inside you get your full set of instructions, uh, warranty card, uh, all the different specs and everything. So this is the 36 watt Cheotech solar panel all folded up. It's in a super, super compact little briefcase form factor. Now the weight on this is about 1.2 kilos. So for a 36 watt solar panel, that's actually quite light. So it's probably not the ideal thing to take hiking with you, but this is perfect if you've got a vehicle. Um, again, 1.2 kilos isn't too heavy to be uh, carrying around with you and super, super small. We're gonna go straight into just opening up this so you can see exactly what's in it and how you use it as well. So as you can see, it's, it's set up like a little school bag. It's got the little clasps on the side here, so it keeps everything uh, nice and tidy. It's all sort of closed up, it's not gonna open up. On the back, before I open it up, I'm just gonna show you the back. This is a really cool feature with this solar panel. On the back, it has this large zip-up pouch. This is really, really, really cool. So inside here, you can see you've got all this space for putting things like your mobile phone, you could put your power bank in here, you could keep your cables, all that sort of stuff. This is where the USB ports are stored. So you can see you've got two fully sealed ports here. One is standard USB, the other one is USB-C. So this is perfect for people charging fast charge devices. You can also use this for any device that is USB-C. And I'll go into the wattage and output on that in a second. But as you can see, as mentioned, this is, you've got all this netting here. So if I wanted to, I could put say a power bank in here. You could keep your cables. You could put your phone in here as well. And as you're traveling, the whole thing zips up so you can keep all your electronic rechargeable devices all stored away nice and neatly in here. So on the back, so as mentioned, you've got two USB ports here. You've got, don't know if you're gonna be able to see this on the camera. You've got your standard USB here, which has got this rubber seal. You've also got USB-C. Now this USB-C output can do up to 20 watts. So it'll do five volts at three amp, nine volts at 2.2 amp, 12 volts at 1.67 amps. So this is enough to fast charge the latest phones. And as mentioned, it'll also do, you could probably even do a small laptop with this. It's not ideal, it's 20 watts. It's a, it's a little bit low for things like laptops, but tablets and anything like that, or cameras that are USB-C, this is gonna be perfect for doing that. The USB, the standard USB is also a higher wattage as well. So the output on that standard USB is five volt. They can do five volt at three amps, nine volt at two amps, 12 volt at 1.5 amps. So there's a maximum of 18 watts coming out of that standard USB. So it is fast charge. So perfect for those bigger phones and fast charging phones as well, and cameras and things like that as well. So to use the solar panel, um, it's quite simple, you just get, I've got a power bank, just for example's sake, I've got a power bank here and I've got my phone. So it's, you simply plug into the little connectors here and then you just fold out the solar panel. So I'm just gonna tuck all these in here, these devices, and we're just gonna close it up so we can open up the solar panel. You don't have to keep everything in here, you, you can have the leads trailing. So if you got a backpack or something like that, you could have a lead for your phone trailing out of this and into your pocket if you still wanted to hold your phone or your power bank as well. So you don't you don't have to keep them in here. If your leads are long enough, you can actually trail them out of here and um, as I mentioned, into your pocket or into a backpack. So to open it up, you just undo these two clasps. And as you can see, you have four really large, super efficient solar panels. Now another really cool little thing with this, um, you do have some lash points on each side. So right here, you can just use something like a lanyard. You, you could tie it to a backpack if you wanted to. Uh, you could also use like a carabiner or something like that. 
you don't have to have these fully open with these solar panels you don't have to have them fully open like this to use you could if you wanted to while you're hiking you could have this folded up so this is this is a good you could have it like that all your cables still plugged into it you're still going to be harvesting power as you walk obviously not as much as if you're pointed into direct sunlight but you still will be recharging that phone or that power bank uh, you can have as many open as you want if you have all sort of tree draping down it's probably a little bit long that's nearly a meter in length it's it's over 900 millimeters in length so it's probably a little bit too long but as mentioned you can just tie this up and it does make it shorter so another cool thing with this solar panel once you get so you're hiking you're outdoors once you get to your base camp you set up for for the evening or whatever you can set this up so you can set it up into direct sunlight on the back of the solar panel you've got these little extension arms on here so these are really really good for if you want to stand it up so they're little little fold out stands so this can be set up like so this will just hold it in place you can point this into the sun and get the full uh, utilization of the sun and get as much power through this and into your devices as possible so just to give you a rough idea of charge times for devices with these solar panels it's 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 a little bit of a uh, it's it's a little bit complex it's not straightforward it, it can vary on the sun that's actually hitting the device at any given time so for example if you got full sunlight you're obviously going to charge devices quicker you're going to get more wattage built up in those solar panels if it's overcast you're still going to charge small devices but it might be at a slow rate but to give you a rough idea if you've if you've if you've got decent sunlight hitting this 36 watt solar panel and you've got your phone plugged in whether it's you know an iphone uh, standard size or even a larger phone you should charge it in the same period of time that it charges in the wall socket at home so you should be able to charge your phone up in a couple of hours which is pretty cool uh, power banks to give you an idea of power banks so a big thing with solar panels is especially if you're hiking or camping you want to be able to charge those devices during the day but you also want to be able to use them at night time the solar panel once the sun goes down isn't going to work it's designed to harvest power during the day so what we use with them during the day is we use power banks and then you can use the power bank if your phone goes flat or your camera goes flat or any device then you use the stored power in the power bank so for example i've got a 10,000 milliamp uh, power bank here plugged in and this is plugged into this is a this is a fast charge power bank we'll, we'll put this as an add-on extra and a few others down below as well this is a fast charge power bank it's 10,000 milliamps you should be able to charge this over the course of the day if you're getting decent sunlight on this panel you should be able to fully charge say a 10,000 milliamp power bank in four five six hours somewhere somewhere there depending on the sunlight that power bank in turn should be enough to recharge a standard iPhone maybe two three times maybe a little bit more uh, so you know in the evening time that's going to get you out of trouble you're using your phone for entertainment or whatever you're using it for battery runs down you use your power bank to keep that charged um, you can go with bigger another, another thing too if you're if you're more stationary with these solar panels so you're setting up a base camp if that's what it's being used for you're not moving around as much you've got that panel set up in the full uh, sunlight or over the course of the day you can go with bigger power banks or or you can go with multiple power banks and recharge them but we've got a we've got a 20,000 for example here um, this will charge via USB-C but even the standard USB input port on this you would charge in full sunlight over the course of a day you would probably charge this in 10 hours 9 10 hours roughly and that 20,000 is going to charge your phone probably six times or more so that just gives you a rough guide uh, based on usage obviously everybody's usage is going to be different but hopefully that sort of gives you a rough idea of what the panel can do and the storage capacity that it can create over the course of the day so yeah that is the 36 watt solar panel great little unit to have just in the back of a four-wheel drive you can use it for hiking as well as mentioned it is about 1.2 kilos probably a little bit on the heavy side for hiking some people aren't going to worry about that 1.2 kilos isn't going to make any difference to them they're going to enjoy the extra capacity that it creates um, but as mentioned great little base camp unit ideal to have in the back of the four-wheel drive and just charge those devices during the day so we'll we'll have a link down below to this product directly to the product uh, on the product page you'll see we'll also have some power banks we recommend to go with it if you've already got power banks at home that are just charging from standard USB, they're fine to use with these solar panels as well. You don't need to use or 
um, so or, or power banks specifically any power bank that charges via usb is going to charge from this solar panel as mentioned we'll drop a link to the product down below and if you like our content please like and subscribe it really helps our um, channel and we release content pretty regularly if you've got any questions or queries please drop us an email or just put it in the comments down below and we'll try to get you as much information as possible that is the choa tech 36 watt folding solar panel